So, uh, Retro Arrivals had this uh, open tag for anyone who's dealing, who's ever dealt with uh, gaming stereotypes. Um, well, number one, uh, gaming's going to rot your brain. Guys, this is an absolute farce. Um, games take more brain power uh, and concentration than television. And I can't tell you the number of people that have told me that oh oh yeah i spent hours and hours of watching you know this sports game or or like anything like that and, it, and it's just it's ridiculous to to think that any kind of games are going to be uh you know going to suck your brain out of your head and stuff and it's just it's stupid um it's it's definitely been disproven um and i know it because i have a degree in psychology and i know how much brain power it does take to get through a lot of these games plus guys uh, from a personal experience uh video games actually helped me overcome my dyslexia um i have dyslexia that interferes with the communication between my brain and my hand and it shows up in my handwriting and when i can misspell words when either typing or writing but when i say the spelling of the word out loud I'm fine. Okay, so on to number two. Video games make you fat and lazy. Um, no, nope, sorry, bad correlation. Um, now, someone who wants to be inactive and uh, physically and stuff and doesn't want to go out and do anything, they're going to find activity for their mind. And, you know, yeah, there's video games give you that activity, but we're, we're talking about a bad correlation. Um, just like the number of people who die in Africa has a direct correlation with the number with the amount of ice cream sold in New York. Does that mean that people in New York should stop buying ice cream so people in Africa stop dying? No, it just means that it's hot. Okay. Oops. Go away. Um, so next up, uh, no girl gamers. Nope, that's a lie. Uh, I have three girls in my house, and every last one of them game, and uh, they love gaming. Let's see, number four, uh, video games promote violence. Ah, uh, this old turd. You know what? It's trotted out every single time by people that are way too uptight, um, and it's mainly just to cause fear for uh, against you know the the new type of entertainment that's out there um you know they did it for music they did it for radio they did it for television they did it for movies and now they're doing it for video games you know what there's going to be another media type that comes out um who knows it might be plugging something directly into your brain and they're going to say that that causes violence mark my words they'll do it uh Next up, video games are a waste of time. No, nope, it's entertainment. Um, you know, each each person loves their kind of entertainment, and you know, to each their own. Uh, I love video games as my entertainment. Some people love books as entertainment, movies, music. Um, you know, you you name it, it's out there. Uh, that it's a waste of move money. Well, no. Um, now, and I'll, this touches back on entertainment. Uh, a movie can cost up, upwards of ten to fifteen dollars for a ticket, and you get two hours of entertainment out of this, right? So, um, <clears throat> that's that's not bad. It's you know five dollars an hour or whatever. But like, I buy a video game for ten dollars, and I get forty hours worth of entertainment out of it. Who got the better deal? I think I got the better deal. Um, let's see, number seven, um, video games make you an introvert. No, not really. Um, uh, it just makes it where you're kind of selective with your friends and stuff. I was definitely not an introvert in high school. I played on the drum line, although I was really quiet and shy. Uh, I, I you know, I had a girlfriend, I went out, I did all kinds of stuff. I, I marched in front of people on the field and stuff like that so no i'm not i was not an introvert um you know you can enjoy being home more than you can be 
you know, more than you enjoy doing things like going to a bar or anything like that, and not be an introvert. Just something that you don't enjoy is like going to a bar or whatever. Uh, let's see. Off with that card. On to the next. Um, number eight. Since I'm a gamer, I must be living at home in, in my parents' home in their basement. Nope. This is my house. I bought it. Bought it with my money. I continue to pay for it with the money that I have from my job. Uh, you know, I, I make my mortgage payments. You know, sorry, no, I, this is all mine. And yes, my game room is, is, is in a basement. But that's because the basement is a cooler place temperature-wise in the house, and it helps keep the consoles from overheating. Um, you know, like I said, I own my house, I have a family, I have a job, and I contribute to society in a positive manner. Um, see, number nine, I don't do anything else but gaming. There's been months that I've gone without playing a single video game because I'm working or I'm helping family or I'm working on my, uh, you know, I'm, I'm building, you know, something or like, um, you know, building computers or, uh, you know, I'm having to reference my notes, but like, um, you know, I, I own a house that was built in 1975. If that doesn't let you know that, that, that I am busy fixing things, nothing will. Um, you know, uh, one of my hobbies is woodworking and learning how to how, how to do all of that and building furniture for for my dad who's just moved and stuff like that. And you know, uh, taking care of all of the pets. I've got two cats, two fish, and a dog. You know, um, you know, making sure that my granddaughter is going to stay educated. Stuff. It's like no. No, I do not. I do not game twenty four seven. I do not game at every chance I get. There are many, many, many times where my wife has basically said, "Nope, sorry, you can't do that right now. We've got something else to do." And you know what? That's fine. I will do things outside of gaming, no problem. Um, it's you run into a problem when you start prioritizing gaming above everything else in life and. While I love gaming, my wife and my family are much more important to me than my games. Um, now, growing up, uh, I, I was born in the early 80s, late 70s, and that put me in a spot where I got to witness the uh, the console wars and stuff like that between uh, between Sega and Nintendo and stuff. And honestly, um yeah, yeah, I was I was made fun of for for playing video games and stuff like that. And every once in a while, uh one of the one of the kids that played sports and stuff would get injured and they would be bored out of their mind and they would start playing video games and they suddenly realized, "Hey, this isn't so bad." But honestly, um I never really got bullied for it. I never really got called out for it. Um, even in high school, my girlfriend loved playing video games as, as well. Um, you know, uh, and it's, you know, and now my, my wife plays video games. My stepdaughter plays video games. My, you know, her daughter plays video games and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that me and my family do together, and it's great and wonderful. And all of these stereotypes are really dated. Um, you know, it, it's it's almost like some weird version of uh, social segregation, and um, should be frowned upon just just like that as well. And um, you know, it's. Guys, it's fun for me. If it's not fun for you, then it's not. But, you know, I'm rambling on. Um, like I said, thank you, Retro Rivals, for the open tag. 
uh, guys, anyone who else is watching this, this is an open tag to you. Um, you know, you you uh, you take a look and um, at all at all nine of these, and if there's any others that happen to you on top of that, feel free to add them and stuff. But uh, you guys have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.